afternoon. It is a nice day in Sydney. A bit cold though. It's really getting into winter. And this week, again, still getting some of my Achilles tendonitis issues. So I've been really looking out for that and sort of dropping back my exercise in general. And so to that end, I've also gotten myself in to see a remedial massage specialist. Not a physiotherapist yet. I've got that booked in, but that's coming next week. Remedial massage this week. And so what is a remedial massage? Well, it differs to other massages that maybe focus mostly on relaxation in that remedial massage is used to treat injuries or prevent injuries even. It's uh, commonly called also a sports massage. It's usually done by or at a physiotherapist. Um, and so if you've got a sports injury and you need to get it treated, you can either go see a physiotherapist or you could even look into getting a remedial massage done to treat the underlying issues within your muscles instead of having a physiotherapy session. And typically when you go to a physiotherapist and do a physiotherapy session, um, if they're doing any sort of massage to help relieve whatever it is that's causing your issues during that physiotherapy session, that's just a remedial massage. So a remedial massage session on its own is just simply the massage part of the physiotherapy session. And then in saying that, uh, remedial massage isn't supposed to replace a physiotherapy or podiatry or whatever specialist session. It's there to provide the massage component of the relief or treatment plan or prevention of injury plan um, for whatever you're training for. So if you've got a condition or issue that you're dealing with, for instance, with myself, I'm dealing with a little bit of Achilles tendonitis, early stages of Achilles tendonitis, and a bit of potential fat pad impingement. And then there's also the issues associated with me working behind desk five days a week um, to the detriment of my body in terms of being able to do exercise and sports without causing myself further injury. So going to a remedial massage specialist, I outlined what were my current conditions and they did certain massages and targeted certain areas that were supposed to help out with the recovery process from those. And if you are in the Leichhardt area of Sydney, like I am, I recommend uh, Leichhardt Sports Physiotherapy in Leichhardt Marketplace um, Shopping Centre. Uh, that's where I went. They've got a dedicated remedial massage specialist um, and the rates are pretty good. That's where I went to go get my remedial massage yesterday um, and they really dug into all those mm, little pain points. If it's hurting, you know that you haven't looked after that area as well as you could because if any sort of massage, it shouldn't hurt if it's been looked after properly. So if it's hurting, that means that they're doing something which is fixing something on you. Of course, it shouldn't be a sharp pain or something excruciating, but it should be, you should definitely feel it. It should, yeah. To the point where you sort of clench your teeth a bit and go, mm, deep breathing, work on those breathing techniques while you're doing it. Now, if you're doing intense training for an event, such as an Ironman or an Ultra or something like that, ideally you should be getting regular massages, like, once a week, once a fortnight, even once a month or something like that. But then a lot of us can't really afford to be doing that so often. So the next best thing is to be using a foam roller, which I do have at home. I don't use them nearly as often as I should though. And I don't really have any excuse for not using it. I just, I'm a bit lazy, but you should try and get into the habit of using them as much as possible. There are multiple types. Um, there's the big solid blue type, um, which is probably the standard style foam roller. But then there's also uh, travel style foam rollers, which uh, they're hollow, so you can put them into a suitcase or a bag to take with you, stuff clothes inside them so they don't take up nearly as much space. Um, that's the foam roller that I took to Spain and Germany with me last year. Really worthwhile getting yourself a travel foam roller if you can, especially if you travel every now and again. Try and just at least once a day give yourself a massage in the areas which are feeling a little bit tender. For me, that is my calf muscles and to some extent uh, along my IT band or upper leg area in general. Another thing I've heard is that after exercise, it's best to, before you do any stretches, 
do foam rolling first. The idea is that after you've done an exercise, you start to get some knots and that sort of thing in your muscles. So you foam roll those knots out of your muscles and then you stretch so that you don't just tighten the knots. Kind of makes sense. Anyway, that about does it for me this week. It's getting darker and darker in that it's looking more and more likely to rain very soon. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.